All right, day three, where are we going? We got ourselves a map to White Salmon. Thank you, Skip Armstrong. What are we doing here? <laughs> Emergency front derailleur replacement. I was having a little bit of trouble getting into my big ring on my front derailleur here. And uh, yeah, I was like having a hard time getting there and then just stopped working all together. So we brought my bike in to his shop, Cat6 here in Portland. And these gentlemen have been super awesome. Threw my bike up on the rack and are fixing it up for us. Hi, Mr. Cat. Cat Six, of course, has an awesome cat in the house. What's the name of this cat? Steve. That's Steve. That is Steve the cat. He must feel oh, good he's on dancing. He must feel good in his little toes or something. He does that all the time. How's it working, my friend? We're looking good. Looking good. A couple of final touches, and I think you're back on the road. These guys at Cat Six are so cool. We walked in. They were already working on bikes. They stopped what they were doing. They started fixing Allie's bike. It ended up being a lot bigger problem than we thought. They switched out the derailleur. They taught her how to fix it on the road. And uh, man, good people here. Very, very good people. Now for real, we are starting today. It's only, I think, 2 p.m. <laughs> like sheer panic it like just puts you into this like animal mode of like Ugh! super tense like you know you're not gonna die everything's fine but you kind of feel like you need to flee so we were planning on just going up the Columbia River Gorge and visiting my friend Skip up in White Salmon but he sent me a text and it said this if I was riding here and had a couple days this is the route I'd take it's so beautiful in the Gifford Pincho wilderness and so whenever skip tells me something i trust him so this is what we're going to do he sent me this route i bet it's going to be pretty darn beautiful up there wherever skip is sending us so thank you skip all the rowdiness and noise of the city is quickly erased when you come to places like this and it just looks like a fairy tale because we got a late start today we're riding pretty late but the great part about that is it's magic hour and wherever we are, I don't know where we are exactly, but it is beautiful. It is the perfect time of evening to be enjoying these country roads. That is so pretty. The Lorax would be real bummed right now. I gotta say, Skip, thank you very much for directing us toward this destination. This is really, really beautiful. There are no more cars. It's pretty much our own private road. And it's just trees dripping and moss and everything is 10 shades of green. And these are the moments when I've done these bike tours and I've been alone. These are the moments where I'm like, God, I wish I could share this with somebody. And now I am, and she's right there. The map that Skip gave us, uh, we didn't think we'd hit a roadblock, but now we are on gravel. Finally get to ride him on some gravel. There she goes, into the gravel wonderland. Well, this is why the road is closed, damn it. Wow, crap. Ali, what are we going to do? Um, we are going to do some teamwork to get the bike sound, hand them down through here, haul them up the other side, and hope that there's not much more of this along the next uh, 55 miles of trail. 
Ladies first. <laughs> Look at her go. She's like a little monkey. Bikes are across. Okay, carry on. It is a good thing we are in the northern part of the United States because we needed all the light today available. It is 8.45. Sun is setting off in the distance and we got ourselves an awesome campground. But we're dummies. Neither of us have lighters or matches. And look at this. Somebody left us firewood and a fire ring. We're gonna have to start rubbing sticks together. How was today? <sighs> it was it was long. You know my bike broke, so we had to deal with that whole situation. We got in a big fight that really brought the energy down. And it's a, a lot more miles than maybe my body would want me to be doing all at once. Uh, I don't have the best knees, and so they've been pretty angry at me for probably the last 20 miles or so. So I'm just, just trying to like take it really easy and pedal very gently. Um, and we'll see how they feel tomorrow. I like the socks and sandals. <laughs> Those are cool. <laughs> I just told Ryan that he could film me from the ankles up, so he immediately broke out the camera and pointed them at my feet. <clears throat> there is our house for the next couple Aww. months. It's a great house. Isn't it? And what's for dinner tonight? Of course, beans, cheese, Cholula. We even got an avocado. Oh yeah, it's bean time. Yummy, gourmet burrito made by the burrito master. I made you this burrito, Allie. For me? This is for you. Oh, you really love me. I have never stayed in a double sleeping bag with somebody. Aww. Cheers. Amazing day. Mm. Billy Idol says it's time to wake up. Wake up. Look at our view. That's our view. We got here kind of late last night, so we didn't really get to see the surroundings, but now that it's morning, man, this place is incredible. And when you wake up in a place like this, you know it's gonna be a good day. Good morning, Allie, time to eat beans. Oh, thank you, my darling. <laughs> yummy. Camp is all packed up in there. There's Allie. There's the open road. Do it. What's going on? Well, we forgot to screenshot our route last night and we lost service because we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, so we started off this morning going down what we thought was the right way and pretty much immediately realized we had just gone into a campground loop. So now we're trying to look at the little squiggly lines, you know, just like the little patches. It's like, oh, I've loaded this part, but not this part of the Google map and figure out how to get to White Salmon. It's so quiet. We are slowly making our way on this road. The going's a little tough. This is uh, slow. It's a lot of uphill and the surface is uh, slippery, lots of loose rocks, but slowly but surely, just like the little engine that could, we are gonna make it to Skip Armstrong's house on a Friday night. Slow pedal. Whatever goes up must come down. Sometimes the universe just provides what you need exactly when you need it. Case in point, we're riding our bikes along and all of a sudden we see this Mexican taco truck. What? And look at this. Oh, man. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. <laughs> this makes all the hard miles just so worth it. I mean, eating food is so exciting when you're on a bike tour because you're always starving <laughs> and burning calories. 
and once in a while, a magical Mexican food truck shows up and saves the day. We have popped out in the Columbia River Gorge. There's the Columbia River. We're close to White Salmon. Skip, we're coming. <laughs> we have made it to White Salmon. Skip Armstrong is going to come pick us up because he lives on top of a thousand foot hill. And we just don't want to do that today. <laughs> so he's going to give us a boost to his house. Skip's one of my very, very dear friends from the old days. And I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. I forgot this is all going to be documented. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Skip. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. I love this guy. Look at us in this field, twirling around. <laughs> la la la. La la la. La la la. Yeah, like this. Like it. La la la. Like and since we're riding our bikes across the country talking about love, we might as well be doing spinny lovey things. This is what they do in the movies. Do I get to spin you now? Yeah, spin me. Right, ready? Okay, get ready. Okay. <laughs> Don't injure me. I have a lot of miles to ride. Alright, there we go. Yay! Whoa, you're gonna fall. I know it. It's worst. time to talk to these guys about love advice. We need yeah. love advice from you. Well, from you. You've been you one of my favorite people for a long time. <laughs> and I look up to you in many ways. Oh, dude. And uh, you have a beautiful relationship. And God, you've lucky. taught me a lot of editing skills and other <laughs> skills, but... And you took me to Nepal once, so that's definitely worth noting. And um, yeah. What about love? How are you, how are you making this beautiful girl happy every day <laughs> well I this is pretty cheesy but I think love is a lot like an airplane and uh, you can go faster and higher and more places when you're in love um, and I think for me anyway I didn't know really how to work an airplane when I got married and um, and so I treated it a lot like a car <laughs> or a bike <laughs> And no matter what, uh, when you have an airplane, it won't work like a car does. And I, I think slowing down and learning how to work this amazing uh, thing that uh, enhances all aspects of your life uh, really makes it a lot better. And so my advice would be to um, be a beginner, like be willing mm -hmm. to not know what you're doing and um, learn to, to learn a lot. and. Um, not try and drive an airplane like a car, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, I can't drive anything. So yeah, I'm but totally the good here. news is, is you have an airplane now. <laughs> yeah, they fly. Are you my airplane? Are you my I airplane? Guess that's a good place to start. You I mean, have a question? Why start with a the car? There were going to be moments where you like cried yourself to sleep, where you had no idea what the answer was, where it felt really hard, and you were super confused, and that that actually is just part of being really close to another human being and that that's actually okay that's actually a sign that you're growing and you're being challenged and um i wish somebody had told me that before we hit the turbulence um but if you can now if you can hang on through those moments of being scared and unsure um things just get deeper and more amazing on the other side of that we've got some deer invading our interview here they're coming <laughs> through the talk grass. Are they over you there? see the ears there's the deer look at them I love you guys. Oh, oh, yeah. Get in here. Group oh, hug. Oh, oh, this is so amazing. So many feel goods. So I got like teary eyed filming that. Oh. I'm a softie. Yes. Uh.